So uh, last night <clears throat> we had a great revival service. Went to Eastgate Baptist. There was a seven church revival service going on and uh, Dan Barnes preached a message called Sometimes. And uh, man, that really spoke to me. And uh, I was even thinking about our missionary that we're having coming tomorrow. His name is Logan Bankston and he's a missionary to New Zealand. And uh, you know, there are people sometimes in life that'll try putting you down. There are people that'll tell you that you need to do uh, certain things before you can be something. I remember I had a pastor tell me I needed to go get a four-year Bible college degree before I could be a pastor. And man, that just did not sit well with me. I'm like, you know what? There's nothing in the Bible about that. Uh, kind of frustrating, but sometimes people are going to tell you things like that and it can be discouraging. And even for a missionary, a missionary has a heart for a certain people and they need to get somewhere. And sometimes they have to go on deputation to get to that place. And that can be frustrating. And, uh, you know, so I'm having this missionary coming out and thinking, okay, what can we do for taking them on to, for support? And, uh, last night I was just, uh, driving home and, uh, you know, we, as men, a lot of times we walk by faith or we walk by sight and not by faith, but God says that we need to walk by faith and not by sight. And as a pastor, one of the qualifications is that you have to be able to manage your household. So, you know, that does include being a good steward of your money, uh, being wise with that. Uh, it goes with everything, you know, and how you raise your children. Uh, and so Deidre challenged me and I've always said this to her and been challenged by it when we started restoration is how big is your God? Because a lot of times we put God in a box and we put him inside this tiny box and say, this is what God's going to do. We tried to control his power, just like Israel tried to do. You can see that. And we're going through first Samuel and Israel constantly was trying to control God's power. Now, uh, we were driving and I'm just sitting there thinking about this missionary and I'm like, okay, we're going to support him for this X amount of dollars. And, uh, then Deidre, I was like, I think that's okay. Deidre, right. And I said, you know, we're doing this. And she just looked at me and she said, uh, Bryce, how big is your God? And man, I went to work last night and I was thinking about the sermon about sometimes I was thinking about, uh, Deidre saying, how big is your God? And then I started thinking about this in John. I'm going to read John chapter one and, uh, verse 43. Now this is, uh, Jesus went and, uh, got Andrew and Peter already. And then now he's going here, uh, to specifically find Philip and, uh, John chapter one and verse 43 says this, the day following Jesus would go forth into Galilee and findeth Philip and saith unto him, follow me. Now, Philip was of Bethsaida the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip findeth Nathanael and saith unto him, we have found him of whom Moses and the law and the prophets did write, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. And Nathanael said unto him, can there any good thing come out of Nazareth? Philip saith unto him, come and see. I'm reaching out to my restoration church family. I know this can go out to a lot of people and a lot of people can see this, but I want to plead to restoration. I want to plead to my church family as your pastor, as your brother in Christ. And, uh, you know, uh, there are so many people when they look at restoration, we are a tiny church. We're, we, our church is located in Fayetteville of all places, which is not that big of a place. If you look at Fayetteville, there's 300 residents in Fayetteville. Um, and a lot of people and different ministries, they look at us and it's like, oh, that's a rural church. It's whatever, you know, and what great thing can come out of Fayetteville? I want to ask you that. What great thing can come out of Fayetteville? And so this really spoke to me and we have this missionary coming out. Uh, he's actually already here and we set up a place for him for his camper out back behind our building and, uh, church family, I I'm asking that you dig deep into your hearts. You dig deep, secondly, uh, into your pockets. I know I'm asking you for money. I want to show this missionary what great thing can come out of Fayetteville. I want to show this family the love of Christ and supporting them. And you know what? This missionary 
Uh, and I was thinking about that message sometimes. This missionary had a lot of uh, cancellations because of the COVID. And he had nothing. All of his meetings got canceled. And then all of a sudden, uh, this nobody uh, gets a hold of him and says, Hey, would you like to come out and uh, preach at my church? And he goes, Well, man, God's just providing. This is great. And then all of a sudden, there was a seven church revival going on. You know, seven churches. There should be seven pastors there. And I said, Hey, we got this going on. You can hit seven birds with one stone. And he's like, That's great. So I took him there and uh, went around to all the pastors after the uh, message was over and I was like, sometimes you need to go over to this missionary and get his stuff, have him in your church. And sometimes you need to support him, even if it's just a small amount. And uh, you know, this missionary is called to serve the people in New Zealand that need the gospel of Jesus Christ. And they're not there. They're here having to raise money. I think they're at like 27%, you know? And I, what I wanna do is I wanna show them that something great can come out of Fayetteville, that God is going to bless them this weekend. God's going to bless them tomorrow and that God's going to get them to New Zealand faster. Restoration, I am asking you to join me in loving on this family. I'm asking you to bring tithes and offering that are way above just 10% because I want to bless this family and I want to show them what great thing can come out of Fayetteville. I want to support them monthly and not just in a small amount and a great amount because I want to show them what great thing can come out of Fayetteville. I want to show them the love of Jesus and I want to send them on their way the right way. And I want them to be blessed. What great thing can come out of Fayetteville? I want everyone around to know that there is something great that can come out of Fayetteville and that is the love of Christ from a small congregation. Because little is much when God is in it and God can take something small and make it great, just like he did with a, a couple pieces of fish and a couple loaves of bread. God can do it, but our hearts and minds have to be willing to serve him. Now, every, every message I always end with this, and James says it best. He says, don't be just hearers of the word, but doers. I am asking you to do this. I am asking you to be a doer of what I am asking and what God is calling us to do, to send missionaries out, to support them. I'm excited about this, guys. I'm just asking you to dig deep, give some sacrificial giving, bring what you can so we can just love on this family and be like, hey, here's a great love offering, but then we're also gonna support you greatly. This is, this is my heart, guys, and uh, I believe God will bless for this because here's something that uh, I was always taught, you can never outgive God. That is biblical. And when pastors and people try giving counsel saying, well, you got to do this and this and you got to, uh, you know, there's a, a, a step one and a step two process. You can't be giving to missionaries if you're not uh, doing other things first. You know what? I'm being led by the Spirit. This is what the Holy Spirit has laid on my heart. God will take care of your pastor. He already has. God will open up a door for your pastor to... Uh, go full time and in, in his time. But sometimes a pastor has to go through this. Sometimes it's just not right now. And uh, sometimes right now is a time where we need to support missionaries and to support this family to get them to New Zealand faster. And I'm excited about Brother Bankston preaching for us tomorrow. I'm excited about getting him on his way and just loving on him and his family because you know what? Sometimes they need this. And sometimes being in, in the mission field can be discouraging. And I want to support them and have restoration be a church where they have a restored relationship and a renewed mindset to keep continuing the work that they are doing. Because it's hard for them. So please, I'm just reaching out. Restoration, will you please, please join me in uh, giving sacrificially tomorrow for the Bankston family. Will you join me in, in serving them and loving on them because you know what he's going to be feeding us tomorrow this guy you don't have to listen to this guy preach uh i think that's good for you because you have to hear me every sunday um so you get somebody different will you get excited about missions will you get excited about sending this family to the mission field and when you get excited about uh blessing them in a way that's going to be beyond their expectations you know i was at first last night when i was thinking about this i was thinking about a specific number to give us a love offering. 
And then I, I didn't. I said, you know what? I'm stopping this. I don't, I don't want to think about a specific number because I don't want to put God in a box. I'm going to just let God be God and his expectations just bless. And so I don't know what to expect tomorrow. I don't know what to expect and uh, what's going to be coming in to be able to give to this family. But I'm just asking that you join me. I'm just asking you that you uh, uh, be led by the Holy Spirit. Pray about it from now until Sunday morning and just help me to bless them. Help me to uh, send them and have that restored, uh, renewed, hey, we can keep on going for the Lord uh, because they need this and they need that encouragement. So you, will you help me encourage the Bankston family tomorrow? Show up, fill the, the church building and, uh, you know, Listen to this guy present his ministry. Uh, just come and be a blessing to him as he is being a blessing to us. Restoration, I love you so much. And you are such a great church family to be a pastor of. And I love all my brothers and sisters here. I'm just reaching out to you. This is just uh, my heart and where I'm at. I love you so much. And uh, I hope that this reaches you. I was just going to write a post, but I'm like, this is too long. I'm just going to make a video. Uh, so what great thing can come out of Fayetteville. I want you to think about that. What great thing can come out of Fayetteville? And what was his response? Come and see. So come and see tomorrow what great thing can happen. I love you. And uh, I hope to see you tomorrow.